Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Guys, holy shit, there's a lot of news this week, but more importantly than that, there's space cats. Space cat, space cat, do whatever space cats do. Oh, can no. they fly out in space? Yes, they can. They've got helmets. Look out. Here comes a space cat. Eyes wider than a hole that's black. Space cat. Space cat. Uh, also, we've got some dudes. There's Jake. He's not a cat. There's Eric. Nope. He's not a cat. There's Shivery. Uh, he's actually a cat, but of course he bloody isn't. Uh, Relay station. Let's go. Am I wow. muted? I'm not muted. No, we are not muted. Probably would have been better if you were muted. <laughs> that was a perfect intro. Yeah. That's, I mean... Perfect? Yes. Perfect? I mean, yes. just Absolutely because of that, perfect. I'm going to sing my Space Cat song again. Uh, because... Oh, God. You guys uh, suck. Um, <laughs> space cats, space cats, <laughs> do whatever space cats do. Can they fly out in space? Yes, they can. They've got helmets. Look out. Here comes a space cat. Eyes wider. Paul, I'm, I'm too lazy. Black. Space cat. Space cat. Yeah, you station. have to wiggle for a shiver. <laughs> oh, you Paul, I'm too lazy. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, hey, everyone. Oh, two waves. Wow. Oh, okay. geez. <gasps> that's why I'm waving. Shiver just stares in. in oh, uh, we did. We did. We did too many waves. Someone else has to subscribe. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. So before. Hello, we begin, everybody. I'm going to order. I'm going to open. Sorry, open. Order. A, I'm going to order me a mayday. Uh, because and and call for some backup. It's an APA. Uh, what's that, Max? Sorry. It's an APA. Oh, see, we did it. Nice. There you go, carbide. You get an extra wave because it's a 14 month streak. That means you've been a subscriber since the beginning. Look at you. Amazing. Oh my. Okay. Um, so, uh, hey everyone. Uh, welcome to the relay. Oh my god, that's exploding. Uh, I'm just gonna pour myself this. Uh, while I do, um, let's start with uh, with Shiver. How you been? How, how's your week been? I survived. Excellent. Uh, Eric, how about you? Are you are you surviving? Are you I alive? Didn't, I didn't survive. No, I'm sorry. Nah. Um, I'm glad you made um, it here, even even you know, despite your untimely demise. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, um, I really appreciate that. Yeah, so I had the flu for the second time this winter this week. So did I'm you, less. Uh, did you get a flu shot? Yes, I did. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I got really, really unlucky. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do this. Uh, and, and Jake, how about you? Hi. Hi. How you doing? When's the, when's the last time I've been on the show? How long has uh, it been? 2016? <laughs> no. It's been no. a long time, Jake. We it's, had, it's been so long that people forgot how bad a person you are, and we actually had people in chat being like, when's Jake going to come back? Man, see, that's, <laughs> that's how you get him. That's how you get him. <laughs> See, I'm back. I got I got my relay pride on. We're we're Excellent. we're doing the things. I now work at a job where I have Saturdays off every week oh. for the rest of my life. So that's pretty cool. So you're just gonna you're gonna um, be on the podcast every week, right? Uh, yeah. pretty, I'm gonna say 99 percent of the time. Yeah. Excellent. Probably. Wait. So we're back to an all relay cast. Yeah. Mm. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. And Shiver's sitting there like, oh dear god. <laughs> Shiver's like, what the hell did I sign up for? I just have to sit here and just let you all just do it. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how's that any different than normal? Three it's I only been in three trouble. months. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm actually I'm actually impressed. I thought it would have been way longer than that. I, I you did do one show towards the end of last year. Oh yeah, because I okay yeah, because I did like three doubles that week, and she's and my boss was like, "You can have Saturday off." I'm like, "Yeah, cool." So, <laughs> I'm gonna have Saturday off. Now I have to go on a podcast. All right, dude. Listen, Nighthawk 
listen, I'm like three trophies away from platinuming that crap, so <laughs> listen. I needed to take a break is what it will actually was. I've beaten that game almost twice. And wow. <laughs> and it is wonderful and beautiful and everything I ever wanted pretty much. Okay, so we have a shit ton to cover this week. Yep. So, before we begin, first, as always, throw us your questions. Yep. Cause... Load them up. We will get to them. I should actually. And actually, I should the actually video is okay today, so I can I can put away the sorry tag. Okay. Look at that. Um, we're gonna move over to show and tell. Uh huh. And Ooh. I'm gonna. No, oh, wait, no, no, no. Listen, want, listen. No, what? there's nothing we have to show anybody. I already prepared. I prepared for for the stream today. Here it is. Wait, wait. Everybody, wait, wait, look. Wait, wait, Jake, give me one second. I need to. I need to black out your. That's you. There. Jake's oh. gone. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, That's so sad. The power is coming in 2019! Yep. Uh, <sighs> okay, guys. Uh, show of hands from everyone that can show me hands. Um, do we start with the ATV or do we start with the roadmap? ATV. ATV, ATV okay. short, and we can deal with it. There is a lot about the roadmap to talk okay. about. Okay, let's start with... I love how everyone answered. I'm just sat here going, how am I going to show that with my hands? <laughs> if only there was some sort of way I could express myself using only my hands to other people. Uh, it might be especially helpful for people who, who can't necessarily hear sound. It might be right. something... Yeah, it could be, it could be pretty helpful. groundbreaking that some weird... <laughs> A uh, terrible developer could put into the Okay, game. I wouldn't say it was groundbreaking. I would say it is amazing yes. and very cool. However, I mean, it could be and, groundbreaking if they and go, rare. do you want to come and help me on this road work site? We've got to do some drilling. Yeah, gra <laughs> yeah <laughs> then, it's gra then it's literally groundbreaking. Okay, you guys all suck. Let's look at the hawk. I'm Hi, cool. Night hawk. Why are we looking at the hawk? I don't know, because there's a video of it. Okay. I mean, it's in oh, the game video. already, That's and that's nice. Um, it's actually what I've been flying mostly while I mean, playing Star Citizen right now. It's I still great. Think, I still think it's a hideous ship. No, oh, it's beautiful. It's so short and squat. It looks like a subcompact car. It looks like a smart for two. David, you drive a subcompact car. Yes, that doesn't mean they look good. Tally, Tally, Tally wants to go outside, even though I just took her out <laughs> immediately before. So I've trained my dog. Um, I've Pavlov my dog, is what I did. Um, whenever she wants to go outside, she rings the bell. But she learned it too well, because she's smart. Uh, she rings that bell whenever she wants to go outside, period. Not only when she needs to go to the bathroom. You, you, what you did, Jake, is so, you have loved yourself. I have loved <laughs> myself. That's what I did. Uh, okay. No, Whoa. because I'm uh, gonna ignore her now. Yeah. I see what you're doing. You think you come over here? Do let's I have to talk, show the dog? Let's talk AI flight behavior, because this is this is important stuff, right? And this is cool. <sighs> <laughs> Tech Mojo, stop using that command. I don't know how to fix it. We just need to delete it and re-add it. Okay. Guys, talk about this stuff. Uh, they made the, combat look good. Uh, this is this is the rev revised one that we saw at CitizenCon, right? But only we saw it for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the new flight model. Yeah, and they, um, never, they never actually put, uh, like... A video out on it i don't think no i don't think they did um i mean it's, it's I, I really love i really love how uh it just like picks the engines off of the connie just like doop 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 there your engines go i spilled my and drink it's supporting um you know if you are going to orbit your enemy and the, do the gunship role, it is far more supportive of that rather than whereas before it was far harder to 
properly encircle an enemy. Mm -hmm. I, I think that overall they're making a lot of improvements on both flight and AI behaviors and just making things more playable and a little more friendly. Um, yeah. I don't like the engine trails with the arrows in it. Yeah, I'm not sure I if that was just a developer thing or whether. Yeah, that was I, don't, I don't think that's an actual thing. It's the if you look if you look down at the bottom right of the screen there, there's this this oh, little, debug little, overlay. little sign okay, that says that's debug overlay. That's Shiver, why. you bastard! Look, it's it's so they can aim and not and not have to think about it. <laughs> oh. um, He's stressing the brain of somebody with the flu. Not nice. That's Shiver, not me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nice. What's, um, what's what's work in progress mean? <laughs> um, that they're not done. <laughs> I, I I think I think everything starts in this will have work in progress until like five years after it comes out. I yeah. wish I could That's play fine. the new audio sounds, um, but I can't. Cause... I'm I'm I no, it, I'm fucking excited about that because proper sound. In the right area uh it's it's not it can be useful uh in a tactical situation because you can pinpoint your enemies down you know if you've got headphones or really good speaker system it also adds to your immersion and hear like they explained in the video hearing the engines from each place and things like that and it also i, I don't know if it will eventually have it so people who are very experienced with their ship will be able to just discern which engine is buggered by hearing it but they should be you it. should be able to honestly i love it i i do love the attention to the sound detail and it it adds so much uh, this one okay hang on this one might have sound with the new audio systems ah yes in the new system we can place emitters that represent the movement of the ship anywhere on the ship itself i can't hear it, rather than being restricted to the sound. thrusters themselves as in the old system do you want us this to pretend for properly yes, placing the sounds of additional systems right so if it's coming from the right sound it'll be like and if it's from the left it'll be like because that, that's how it works yes. so spreading the emitters throughout the ship in a low friendly way like this <laughs> Results in a much more dynamic. <laughs> I'm recording in mono as well. <laughs> benefits for stereo speaker users. People playing with headphones or surround sound systems should hear massive increases in positional believability. Well. Because of the more advanced audio features in the oh, audio Lord. system, we can also modulate the sounds of ships over long journeys <laughs> to represent the sound Amazing. of the ship settling into a certain. Okay. It's very hard to talk so about audio, isn't it? It is, and I think systems. it's why they show it's the so In the new system, we can place emitters. But there are other things that we can talk about that are quite cool, like this. Oh, briefly on the very quick thing on the audio system, they mentioned a while back that every entity or you know, that makes up a ship, so each pipe and things like that can be attributed its own sound. So rather than have uh, effectively a bed track or just a background track that's on loop whenever you're in a specific ship, they're not doing that. You actually have the sounds of the ship. Which is when cool. that get, And when it gets damaged, hopefully that gets changed and all that. It's, it's very cool. We actually saw some of that with the... Remember that huge walkthrough of the Idris that they did with all of the sounds that they were attaching to all the bits? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that was that was super. Um, I really love this stuff. Uh, they're they're uh, working on uh, finalizing animations. Um, I really like the um, the picking up and dropping animations. I thought they mm -hmm. were really good, even when there was the sort of jump from the hands to like the ground and then the jump back in and um, that they seem to have taken that out and it's like smooth is fantastic have you guys flown a a hornet recently no right gladius uh semi recently um the the animations on those ships are very close to being done because okay. they need those ships done yeah first squadron. squadron um they like it's incredible. Like like when you do the the ship startup, he's like touching all the flippy switches and stuff. You know, I'll have to check that out. It's cool. I do have a I have a loner uh, hornet, so I'll have to grab one of those. I have a loner hornet for my Carrick, which is such a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those have always been a little. Uh... 
Um, Orders have always been a little off. Yes. Speaking of which, that might be a good time to mention. Are we done with ATV? Um, no. Or is there a little no, left? No, there's, uh, there's okay, the cool. mount, mantling and vaulting animations. Which oh, yeah, those are cool. Looking better and better all the time. I'm I'm actually kind of disappointed like by this because I'd like you to be very, very honest. If you've ever run at a wall that's like yay high, do you put over it or do you just jump the bloody thing? Like, do you, uh, just, do you just jump? If you're in a combat situation, you so you can have because you only have one hand and you can't balance he's properly weapon. and he's not carrying a weapon. He's running along he... like this. Yeah, but why would you make two? Jake, because this is Star Citizen. Why would you make all those animations when they're hitting the bu like because they do that? <laughs> if you look, I think yeah. that is actually the animation for, well, he certainly got a pistol there and I think they if you can't see a gun, it looks like he's doing the animation for holding a gun. Maybe. So it might just be that that's it at the moment. It's it's only the combat vault but like, in at the moment. When I get to a wall Maybe. about that height, if I want to jump it, I jump one foot up to it and sort of use it as a twice as high step rather than... What if you're being shot at than, at the same he's, time? He's taking it like you take a car hood in a stupid movie. Yes. Well, those movies are dumb. No one mounts... The, why would you mount the car hood like that? Just Just walk around. Or like Chipotle, it just it takes anyway. longer to walk around. I'm just, I'm just being me. You're cool, what you're telling, what you what what you're what you're saying is you can't have fun when you're making uh, game animations. Wow. Yes, that is what I'm saying. It has to be. Yes. A hundred percent realistic. Yes, Absolutely. Obviously. <laughs> 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 all those spell animations and all of the uh, medieval games got uh, so now we do get to talk about fantasy games. Uh, something fantastic I think. this is this so cool. cool um honestly this is just really good i'm gonna um, use these just anyway <laughs> the, the, that's like the other the, thing it's gonna teach players how to use american science so, <laughs> so they're already like so you're supposed to like enunciate like a lot when it comes to um to ASL like you're supposed to like be really emphatic but you need to they, talk they, like they, you're they, Italian. They really really are very emphatic so I think it's going to be useful <laughs> to be honest. That's awesome. You know what? I bet a lot of people use this um in in combat even cuz it's handy. Did you just say it's handy? Yes. Yes. Uh, but you didn't, it, but you'd enjoy that. This is so, Jake. In the pre-show, we were sort of talking a bit about Apex. Yes, and we were talking, yeah, Jake. Because okay, Jake, you go because you want this. All right, all right. So, if if any of you guys don't know, um, Respawn Entertainment, uh, the developers of Titanfall, um, and the former developers of, um, they all came from Infinity Ward. So, uh, these are people who worked on the first two Modern Warfare games. Um, they, um, they put out a Battle Royale game on Monday for free, uh, called Apex Legends. Um, uh, aside from what I'm about to talk about, I think it's the best Battle Royale game out right now, like, of all of them. Um, but, I'm um... still partial to PUBG. Um, but the, the big thing that, um, that it does is it has the best communication features I've seen in any video game ever. So, um, so you get a ping, like, like a map ping basically, but it basically puts a, puts a waypoint wherever your reticle is and it's context sensitive. So depending on what you aim at the game automatically detects what you're pointing at and changes the waypoint and what your character says automatically. So say, so if you just set a waypoint on like a rock, it's going to say, Hey, let's go look over there. If you ping an enemy, it says enemy in this direction. And the reticle is red instead of gold. 
I think the um, most impressive thing I saw it do was uh, was uh, marking loot. Yes, so it'll, it'll say like level one shield, or it'll say energy ammo. It, it detects exactly what you're pointing at, and then makes a actual icon of that weapon or item on the map for the whole rest of your team. Yeah, and um, and then um, the the other members of your team can acknowledge it by also pinging it, and they'll say okay or heard you or something like that or thanks yeah or thanks so and, and so that's crazy it's, it's when not you <laughs> the first game that's done it but it is done it's, it's the first well. game that's done them all that's the thing i'm um, very i'm very impressed by it it's, a- it's apex regardless of anything else is probably the most polished battle royale that's yet launched yeah. it it has launched as seemingly a pretty fully polished game which that in itself, I'm really pleased with. But so it's like, and I understand like Deep Rock Galactic and Vermintide have both done something similar to this, but it's more than just that. So it um, like there's there's so many like context things. So um, that they'll that they'll say like it, it gets like ridiculously specific. Um, and um, the fact that they not only did this to where the voice lines are different every time, but also yeah. the UI changes is incredible. Yeah. Um, you can play you can play an entire round of, of that game and effectively communicate with every single person on your team without ever having a mic plugged in. And that's huge. I really want um, Star Citizen to um, to adopt literally all of these features because they would be incredible like um another another thing you can do is when you when you have your inventory open you can you can uh use the ping button to click on on like a gun or an ammo type and you'll say hey i need this ammo type and it it tells your whole team that that you need that ammo type because because battle royale game if you don't know is about finding and scavenging yeah. weapons and, and ammo and things. Cause you start the game, you start the round with nothing. And, and the thing um, is I, like, I, I, wa- I brought apex up one because Jake really wanted to talk about it, but two, because it does sort of tie into this, uh, CIG yeah, yeah. putting in the, the ASL, the American sign language, uh, support. Like I'm trying to think of a word that, Bits for what I'm thinking, but I'm I'm just really really pleased by this. Like I was I was kind it's... of off doing my own stuff this week and saw a bunch of people. Uh, I, I actually saw it from uh, the Astro Pub on Twitter. Him posting that this had just been shown off in yeah. in ATV and being like, "This is this is really important and really significant and really cool." And I was like, "Yeah, that this is really good." Like this is re- this is really good shit for a game developer to put in a game. It is yeah. important. It is inclusive, and I'm really really happy that CIG. Um, are doing the more that. like the first thing I always look at in games these days is is the accessibility features. Yeah. So um, so like I love it when games do like colorblind modes, several <laughs> colorblind modes, because there are multiple forms of of colorblind. Um. I love it when, um, like, CrossCode did this, where um, where you could, like, so that a lot of the puzzles in CrossCode are time-based, and if they're too hard for you, you can keep the combat the same difficulty, but you can change the puzzle timers to be a little bit longer, um, so that way the puzzles are a little bit easier, and you can do the opposite. You can I've leave the puzzles to be the same difficulty, but you can change the combat difficulty. I can't remember I what game I was playing recently, like but that. there is another game that also did that too. I can't remember where it was though. Um, but that's becoming more common. It's that's yeah. awesome. I was also hearing, and that being um, said, you're um, not going to have that in in a multiplayer game. Yeah, because because that would be unfair. Uh, but but there's certain things that you can do to make it so people who couldn't play the game at all are able to. Yeah, it's it's really good, and I mean it's. I feel like this year has been pretty good for, or not this year, but like the last few years have been pretty good with that. Um, I, I do want to give props to like the Xbox um, controller that they came out. Yes. With, Cause that thing is oh my God. phenomenal. Um, everyone, Speaking should of which, able, everyone should be able to play games period. 
Also, that controller, um, yeah. real quick, that, that controller is universal. They yeah. they purposely made it so that it can be used on any platform. Yep. And that's and um, it's really, really good that they did. So um big props to xbox also like in general for for input uh they also have now made it so you can use a keyboard and mouse on xbox yeah um so it now has a lot of flexibility um and uh yeah like playing shooters on xbox with x with keyboard and mouse is going to be interesting Uh, okay so i can't i was going to show this off Yes, so oh, I wanna, yes, it's awesome. I want us to slightly move on a bit. Uh, yeah, of course. Now. We, we have lots to talk about. Um, this is just a cool image that uh, that someone made up. Um, for, for anyone that can't it was really on Reddit. see... It was on Reddit. Yeah, but if, if you, for anyone that can't really see what's up there, you've got, you know, there's a Connie in the middle left-ish. There's an Idris, Javelin, uh, Pegasus, Bengal, and then... Retribution. The Retribution. When can I download top. this mod? <laughs> uh and and these are just these ships uh i guess over skyrim's map uh yeah Which you'll be is... able to download the mod when those ships are in the game someone will immediately oh, yeah. make that mod <laughs> uh but and, and you know what you know connie okay that's fine the connie's actually not that big it's it's, yeah, it's like, hard to see on there it's hard to see it's not that big the idris okay fine the idris is like a mountain Cool, I get it. Javelin, we're starting to get somewhere. The Bengal, okay. Okay. That's the, huge. The Bengals, and then the Retribution, like, what? What are you doing? No, that's the entire size of a bloody game. Go away. <laughs> Stop it, CIG. I don't care. Stop. All of that to support one gigantic railgun. One, like, one big <laughs> railgun. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I just, it looks real cool. Uh, there's yes, also this real cool, which looks real cool. This is just real like, cool, real oh. cool, radical Rex. Yeah, more sub components. Remember um, radical Rex? Looking incredible. Uh, I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think this might be this screenshot might be using the new um, uh, hard surface shader. That's it's going to be in 3.5, which now, looks incredible. There's a couple really important things in this picture. So number one, off to the right side. You've got a yep. baseball. That's cool. It's good. They've got. I want to kill a man with those pliers. Two <laughs> off to the left. There's that can of pop. It looks like yep. one. It has a barcode. I want those barcodes to be real. And two, it has nutritional information. I want that nutritional information to be real and change the size of your character based on the amount of soda you drink. Soda's bad for what you. What if it just says three? None. Perfect. Three. Uh, see that asthma inhaler? <laughs> yes. That's cool. Yes. That is cool. Um, yeah. But I want to get to the coolest. It's a large part of this. asthma inhaler. It, it is. But the coolest <laughs> part of bong. this. Hang on. Actually, the yeah. coolest part of this isn't even showing on, on screen. It's a hypo spray. Give me one second. Uh, the coolest part of this is over there on the right. No touch. See that no touch sticky notes? <laughs> no, no. Sticky Can you guys note? imagine the ability to take sticky notes in game and write notes on them in game and then stick them places? We need to be able to. We need to be able to do that. That'd be great. It'd be hilarious. One of the most <laughs> useless and best features ever. But but it wouldn't even be useless oh, no. because you'd get into your ship right and you're like, man, I want to do this by the book because you can. You can. You can. You know. You can do an easy startup sequence, or you can memorize all of the buttons in your ship because they're real buttons. You could do it faster. You they need to make it so you can do it faster, and if, if so that you can. That put that would be notes, the thing. So that you can put sticky notes on <gasps> the buttons. Yeah. To remind It'd be you like what one, the buttons two, do. Three, four, five, <laughs> yes. six. That'd be I amazing. Have, <laughs> I have broken all of your minds. Now, CIG. Make um, of Make course, this is this is straight out of Independence Day, when he has the sticky note on the control panel. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Rocks. He has to flip it around. Uh, it's got this big me. red button with a sticky note that I says "Make ship to, go now." I want to hear right now from anyone in <laughs> chat that doesn't think I just blew your minds. <laughs> Zeus and Oxia is like, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway i sorry i just i thought that was really cool and really wanted it so can we talk about the roadmap now yes uh we should do that i'm just i need to figure out how to 
Okay, so where are we going to start we with the roadmap? You're gonna you want to do it that way and not beginning. stop? Not with the Odysseus one? Uh, we could do the Odysseus one, yeah. I just don't have it uh, immediately. I'm handy. sure you guys shout them out all the time, but shout out to Odysseus. Yeah, it's yeah, maker like of some of the best content out. in the verse. Yeah, um, it's, it's in our chat. Where none of us are to... that good at Photoshop. Do you want That's me to problem. put it in there again? Uh, I just need to find which one it is. Oh no, I got it. Okay, okay. it's the blue one. Yeah, the blue <laughs> yeah. one is Star Citizen. The the or the green one is Squadron. Okay. Uh, let me build this up. Yes, okay. make it bigger. It's a large boy. So this is Squadron, I suppose. Here we are. Uh, that one's Squadron. Yeah, I did just put the Star Citizen one there. Right. We can talk about Squadron really no, quick. Just oh, make it. So much. Yeah, just ignore the yeah. Ignore yeah, the sorry, box. Sorry, yeah. chat. You... Um, so the only really well, okay. The funny note I want to make on this one: uh, vehicle scanning uh, three in Q2 2019 was apparently done, and then they took it all the way from done back to zero percent <laughs> schedule. So it was done, and then they're like, "No, it's crap. It's crap." <laughs> it went all the way back to schedule. Welcome to game development. <laughs> Um, it, but to, that doesn't necessarily mean that a hundred percent of the work no. is thrown out. It could just no, mean just starting at the yeah, beginning. It, yeah, they, they're situation. looking at it from afresh, and they can still reuse some things or some ideas. Oh yeah, we have, no idea what, we have no idea what happened. Yeah. They may have just been like, okay, that's nowhere near enough. Like the feature's nowhere near big enough. It needs to be bigger, so we're going to put it back to schedule and come back to it. Or who knows? Um. But I did think it was funny that it was listed at 100, percent and now it's scheduled. Uh, I'm excited for uh, vaulting and mantling to be upgraded. Yes, it's already absolutely. good. It can be better. I'm excited for for that. Um, uh, also, I'm going to I'm going to do this for Nitro. I don't know if he's watching. Probably not. Um, but uh, yeah, Titan suit. Always got to mention yes. the Titan suit sitting Sorry, there in Q4. Everyone, I, I needed to go get another beer. Um, uh, this one. That's fair. This one is called 10 Bitter Years. Sounds like a marriage. <laughs> wow. Coming from someone who just got engaged. Yep. <laughs> nice. Hey, it doesn't sound like nice. my. It doesn't sound like my. It sounds like a. Hey. Oh, man. Nondescript. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Shivers like no comment. Ten Pilsner <laughs> years. <laughs> um, um anything else to note on this one? Um so I mean you can see there's a few things that have moved around. Uh HDR color processing moved up. Uh, uh radar is done. Uh physics Q moved back. Um yeah, radar V two is done, ragdoll improvements are done. The javelin got worked on. Ah, uh, the javelin. Yep. I'm excited. Nothing groundbreaking for the in the schedule yeah. this week. They just uh, some things got shuffled around. Um, it? Let's... Is javelin anvil or aegis? I always get the two mixed up. Um, javelin is aegis. And is okay, that Jake? like um, the flagship yep. for the aegis dynamic? Is there any bigger sh ships for aegis in the javelin? I don't think. so. Because I think they work jointly on bigger ships like the Bengals RSI and Anvil. Yeah. Uh, well, the Bengal was originally listed as just RSI. I don't know what it is these days. Um, no. And I think the Retribution was one they mentioned was a joint venture between several chip makers because it's just the size of a planet. Or, well, not so quite, really, the Javelin's just the tip continent. of the spear. <laughs> oh. So, Squadron, good. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this over to the other one. Oh boy! Because uh... yeah, we need to talk about this because you'll see there's a bit of a difference between the two roadmaps. I'm gonna hope that this just fits in the same spot. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Nice. So you'll see a lot of yellow. <laughs> Lots yeah. of new things. Lots. So, so we just got three point seven and three point eight added. Sorry, go ahead, David. Well, we're so we we've kind of 
not much has changed with 3.5. It's progressing. That's good, right? Cool. Mm-hmm. 3.6. Let's start there. Cause... <laughs> okay. There's a lot of changes here. About 95% of this patch was changed, yeah. um, which isn't a surprise because there wasn't even much in it before. Yeah. Um, so um, we have well, something that a lot of people will be very happy about, glass visor and HUD improvements uh, leading the way. Uh, on 3.6 uh, rest stop space stations will be there um so this will just be exterior variations between them uh we already have rest stops obviously in the game right now um and then they're we all have... pretty much the same though that's 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 what they're, they're adding more yeah variety. they're putting in some variation yeah uh ship ai 3d path findings so that's good more uh, uh you know they're working on getting the um uh, PVE content a little better there. Um, so this is something I was very happy to see in this roadmap. They have NPC improvements. So in 3.6, you see the bartender and the civilian will be getting um, some work. And then we have FPS cover usage um, for, so this would be for AI as well. Yep. Because um, right now they don't, they don't hide behind things. <laughs> Weapon attachments. <laughs> Hey, guess what? Weapon attachments. David. Weapon almost, almost everything attachments. This, almost everything in this second little batch here is is fantastic. Or third. Give me batch, a I guess. big but fat weapon two to four times variable scope on any assault rifle. And that's weapon all I need. Yep. Ship rentals, yes. Freely, Amazing. Yes. The black market economy, black market, though. Yes. Uh, degradation and improvement like improvement of degradation for ship systems yes yeah. misfires cool. hell yes carryables uh oh, i hate the transit system. love it bounty mission improvements good a a plus on everything there um did you new see ver new version of transit systems david can they make them not necessary <laughs> no um david yeah, Jake. You heard of? Did you hear about the uh, the dev who's going to reduce? Yes. Uh, orbit radius. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I did. No, I, I talked to him about that. I I did. I was like, yes, that's good. It needs to here's, happen. Here's 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 what they'll no here here's what I think will end up happening. The, the big problem is that elevators take too long. Hmm. Um, elevators are loading screens. Let's not beat around the bush. They are one hundred percent loading screens. So once the game gets more optimized, they'll be able to make the elevators move faster um, in order to... Um, you, you don't need as much of a loading time. I also um, don't and that will like also the tighten the up trains, the... To be honest. I like the trains a lot, actually. I, I, hope they keep, that, I hope they stay. I hope they stay, but I hope they speed up and are more frequent. Um, no, here, here's, here's what I think will happen. You can um, eventually they're going to build out these these locations large enough to where you can just walk. It'll take too long to walk. Yeah, but the option is there, and I, there's I, stuff. I that want you... the option, but I want the transit like the train option should be not. I also think not there equivalent be... to, but close to fast travel. I know that they're never going to allow fast travel, but it shouldn't take you five, 10 minutes to get from your no. hub to no. the space station. It shouldn't take me 10 minutes from logging in to the point that I can actually get to my ship. I think that they need to, period. um, period. One of the, they, David. Yeah. Sorry. Um, one of the questions they were actually asked this week was, or it was, sorry, it was last week. Um, they were asked was, uh, are you considering making any changes to cargo runs? Because currently it's actually faster and more effective for players to land at outposts rather than in cities to do trading. And um, that's something I think they should do is I think you should have basic, like the basics, things you come to cities for a lot should be right at the port, like right where you land. Um, so you'll have like, you should have terminals there to be able to do your, your basic stuff that you do constantly right there. Like just stuff for your own ship. Oh basically. yeah. 
Um, what I think like areas like the um, business district should be for is if you're like a like a guild person and you're you're trading uh, commodities for a large organization or uh, org or house like guild uh, buildings. My worry is like they've been talking a lot about like player almost player housing, right? Yeah. No, and we'll have player housing. They've know, said but, that multiple times. But that is what worries me. It's the, oh, I'm on a, I bought my house and there's only so many houses because these <coughs> houses are actually physicalized in the game, right? No. So you, and so here, I'm on the I very edge do. of this damn city and it takes me 10 minutes to get from my house to the space. I, that's what I'm worried about, right? Here, here's, what, here's what I think they'll do. Um, I think they will... They'll make it so the more expensive your house is, it'll start coming with like a landing pad or several I, I landing so. pads. That'd be fantastic. You know? Well, I mean that that we were supposed to have hangers, right? Like anyone that has the asteroid well, hangers, yeah. you're supposed to have an asteroid hanger. Yep. Yeah. I'm still expecting my asteroids. I want my asteroid, damn it. Um, but, I do agree with uh, I do do agree with um Astro Pub as well. Um, orbital docks. So I mean, yeah. we're going to have orbital docks for training. We know we have to because some ships can't land. Yep. Um. So no, it all uh, that'll here's, be here's that'll be thing. big too. Here's the thing: I really don't want them to like. I know what we're saying. Oh, let's let's use orbital docks for trading and this for trading and that for trading. But they're putting so much effort into these cities that I don't want them to waste that effort on a place that nobody wants to go because it takes too much time to do anything I think, there. I think there will be enough missions that require you be in a city. It's going to be a balance. Where you will be there. It just, it they shouldn't, if all that has to do for them to speed up the travel times is speed up the train, I think they yep. should fudge the trains. Like, fudge it somewhere. You know? Fair enough. Yep. Or just That's make all. them really fast yeah but that's what i'm saying just make the trains super fast really Three. fast. shiver <laughs> you haven't said a damn word in a while i'm contemplating it because he's I'm trying to come thinking, up with I new mean, puns come on leave them alone i've been trying not to say the puns but i get your point as well but i do remember cig basically saying you know the more the premium housing is going to cost more be closer to the spaceport and if it sells out, it sells out. And if all you can get is far away from the spaceport, then you're fucked, mate. But you do get a better deal. Yeah. I mean, we've got the grey cap, which you can use for personal transportation, which is a fucking terrible idea. But I love it. I want to see I, people I do driving, agree with driving grey cats through the city. It'd be great. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I don't know. We'll, we'll like see. Like Shriners everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let, let's continue, though, because we've got a lot and we're not even... A lot of... Okay. Three points. Well, no, we're not even done. We're, we're not even done. Three point six. So I'm going to go through these slightly quickly. Yep. Uh, for ships, Vanguard Warden update. Yay. Yes. Uh, Archimedes awesome. eight ninety jump. That's eight ninety jumps coming in. Jeez. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check out my eight ninety jump. And I, I the floating like, bra I the floating like brothel is gonna be in the game. I feel like that patch is gonna make like fourteen million dollars on its own. Uh, just because oh, of all yeah. the people that want jumps. Uh, Merlin Improvements. Apocalypse Arm Animus Missile Launcher. Nice name, uh, That Animus. sounds Don't amazing. Why. Bearing Pistol. The Animus. D yeah. Uh, neutron Repeaters. K. Okay. And then important stuff. We've got Client to Server Actor Networking Rework. Planetary Ground Fog Tech. Yes. Amazing. Procedural Asteroid V2. Yes, Asteroid. please. Uh, distribution and ecosystem improvements. That sounds good. Harvestable entity spawning. Awesome. Good. And some more performance optimization because that's everywhere. Which is in every patch. 3.6 sounds like a great patch. Let's move to 3.7. Bounty hunter armor. No one cares. Cargo. Oh, <gasps> no. Entry. Have you seen it? Yes. Have you seen it? I have. It looks, oh, my it God. Looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. You look ridiculous. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Way to bring up my my very sensitive. Uh, oh, it's so metal, though. It Weren't you the one talking about growing it's a like beard down your waist ghost earlier? In the shell. It, it it's looks, straight out of Ghost in the Shell. It looks like a really, really cool armor. It's I so question, cool. I question its usefulness. It looks more like something you'd see Rule stalking. Of cool. It looks something you'd see stalking you in like a horror movie. 
which yeah. at the same time it's is so perfect cool. for a bounty hunter because you're going to be like, oh, I broke the law, whatever, nothing's going to, and then that's going to appear behind you and be like, <laughs> your own your personal horror movie. Mine. Yeah. You've been watching too many movies, my friend. Um, uh, can someone throw a link to the pick in there for Mac Vault Dweller? I don't have that's one a good handy. idea i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna let tajik take it take that one uh ghost got it i think uh oh, perfect. while we yeah. while we stay there so cargo depot space stations rest stop space station unoccupied and rest stop space station interior variants cool awesome cargo depot excellent a new type of space station i like it npc yep. improvements shopkeeper fps combat weapon types and advanced gunship Where will, maneuvers i want to be able to haggle all good. I want to haggle. Here's the fun stuff. Refueling. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping. Starfarer time, boys. Player yep. locomotion. Stairs improvements. NPC healing. FPS close combat. Death animation improvements. Player hey, swim. finally. Player swim. Player Shrek swimming. Power system. Power system V2. PVP bounties. Cockpit experience improvements. Ship to station. Docking. Repair. Listen. Fuel restock. That's cool. P Wait. PvP bounties, which means as a player, you can set a bounty on another player. Yes. So basically everyone here is going to set bounties on Jake and Paul. Yep. Me. Come at me. You won't even be able to find me with my prowler. Yeah, well, you won't have Ship your prowler. Ship to station yet, docking. Very important stuff. <laughs> I just won't play until December. Everyone knows that people are going to put numerous bounties against any streamer because they're a streamer yep. and also Jake because he's Jake. He's Jake. Uh -huh. um, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Uh, Jake Paul. Ships. Vanguard Let's Harbinger. Go. Vanguard Sentinel. Cutlass Red Rework. Cool. Bearing Grenade weapons. Launcher. Salvo Frag Pistol. Frag Pistol? Nice. I am interested. Laser cannon. Laser cannon. Love it. Uh, Klaus and Werner Lumen V. I, I do like that they have apparently just taken Cannon's name instead of using the actual name for a cannon. <laughs> 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 anyway. Um, and then for performance <laughs> improvements and engine improvements, large scale shadow improvements, server to client actor networking rework, performance optimizations, improved terrain shadows, shield technology replacement, and atmosphere tech improvements. Ooh, new atmosphere is going to be beautiful. That shield technology replacement, is that the shield that's projected over the silhouette shape of the yeah. sh sh ship yeah. by like a few meters or so? That's, that's going to be awesome. That's my. That's my guess. I'm going to actually go check the actual roadmap to see what it says. Yeah, check yeah. that. But that's that's important stuff. Okay. 3.8. 3 the 8. big we, patch. The big patch. So this is end of the year stuff. Microtech. Yeah, just all of it. Just the microtech. whole thing. It only has one moon, though. Isn't it two? Uh, no, it doesn't. Just one. No. Uh, well, it says that there are two. Three, actually. Oh, I thought it only had one. Roadmap. It has Calliope. One planet Calliope. only has one. Um, yeah, three three moons. I don't know. There I are three moons four. for Microtech. What? Four? I don't I know. I can't count. Lights. Oh fuck. <laughs> um. By the way. <laughs> by the way, Shiver. Lights. <laughs> Shiver. Hi. Hi. Uh, shield technology replacement. Replacement of the legacy shield system to use sign distance field technology. So Lovely. yes, I believe I believe that is exactly what, what it is. Okay, so let's go through these. Uh, mission giver. Cool mission Eddie. giver. Fun. Uh, this is mission... I'm a little more happy with weapons now that they seem to be adding a lot of weapons and I'm excited to see the weapon attachments and how we can use those weapon attachments to create variety in those weapons. I want to see them sort of speed up mission givers because we've got yeah, they not need lots. many and it seems to be taking them one, two... It does three, seem to be the thing that they... Well, this one? well no no, but the, they've been adding them for every patch. They just don't always put them in ahead of time. Like yeah. they've added them in late into patches repeatedly. Yeah. Um, for 
<clears throat> content, refinery space station, cargo space station unoccupied, refinery space station unoccupied, microtech planet, new Babbage landing zone, microtech moon, microtech moon, microtech moon. I miss moon. Babbage's. Calliope, Clio, and Uterp. 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 Is there Uterpe? Is planet like Clio or Calliope? It's Calliope. Calliope. It's Greek. It's Calliope. not Italian. I love how he had a good shot at that. He went Italian, he went Russian. He's like, no, no, no. Neither of those. You did a little Spanish. He's like, no, it's none of them. No, it's look good on you. Greek. You <laughs> Well, why don't you give me a shot there, Shiver? Calliope. Yeah. No, because I'm not going to fucking embarrass myself. <laughs> Shiver, you're embarrassing yourself by not embarrassing yourself. The entire point oh, of a self... Oh, you haven't seen me embarrass myself. The entire point of a self is for embarrass. Fair enough. Mint. So, we um, have FPS combat behaviors and, uh, and flight AI ace pilots please that's know. gonna be fun please no i don't want i don't <laughs> want to fight an ace pilot i can't fight a <sighs> not pilot i can't run away a stationary ship much less the ship that's flying <laughs> much less the ship that's flying by an ace ai oh that's funny uh dynamic mission system hell yes please Amazing. Thank you. Mag boots, incredibly is interesting because I still it's remember. Back. I still remember a couple of years ago when they were like, "No, guys, based on the way we make our ships, we cannot Germans. do mag boots." They do not factor in the Germans. <laughs> no one ever thinks. Now <laughs> no one ever thinks it's the Germans. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> 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 but it's quite no interesting. No one ever you... suspects the German... <laughs> <laughs> the German Inquisition. Do you think oh, you if go. you mix the um, soft body um... tech stuff with the mag boots, do you think that means we might have more ways, at the very least, if not to board a ship, than to fuck it up on the outside as just a person? You know, Probably, weld yeah. open a panel and rip out some of the crap. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally, totally. My headphones are dying. Um, <laughs> well, that's a problem. I accidentally left them on overnight, and they just beeped to let me know that they're dying. Yeah, you got about 15 minutes before they die completely. Cool. Can well, you just plug them in? No, because nope. they sit on a thing. Oh, so you have crappy headphones. Got it. No, they're fantastic. They're <laughs> the best headphones I've ever owned. Um, for 20 minutes. It's okay. I have speakers. Um, yeah, fast cart. I know there's going to be some Reddit threads, but, uh, hey. Um, there comes the Reddit oh, Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. I just got back to Reddit and enjoying it, you bastard. <laughs> no enjoying of Reddit. Um, um... So this is really cool. Like the mag boots and the zero G push and pull stuff is super cool. I I'm looking forward to that. Um, I, I'm still. I am. Uh, so, so years ago they said they had this mag... working about five years ago. Well, they yes. said that mag boots weren't a thing. And then it broke again. And then they did a cryptic thing, being like, "We're gonna need some mag boots for, uh, uh like some of the squadron stuff." And I was like, okay, so they're going to have to have mag boots. And now they've got mag boots back. Yep. Yep. My hair is amazing. Yes, Rick. It is amazing. It's mostly on one side of your head. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Between the hair and the beard, I look like slightly like a person. It's kind of cool. Jack Astry, great name, says if you do read it all, boots aren't actually boots. It's your jetpack will simulate it in zero G. That's fine. I'm okay oh. with simulation. Yeah. But you know, thank you for the accuracy. That, that is good that, accuracy. that does and can make a difference. Well, yes. Um, I'm, I, okay, now I actually have to wonder then why they call it mag boots. Uh, because because this is what it actually says. Equipment. Creating functionality allowing players and NPCs to traverse a surface, surface while in zero G as, it is, as if it is normal ground. Mm, okay. Easiest way to tell, easiest way to actually tell people that with two words is mag boots. Mag boots. <laughs> I get it. Um, 
I really like, is it the next one? Yes, I really like the next one here. If you guys remember correctly from the Retaliator commercial, <coughs> this is something that CIG got a shit ton of shit for years ago in that in that commercial they showed characters pushing and pulling themselves in zero yep. g and that didn't exist and people were like oh my god you're lying to us this is the worst thing ever scam 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 and now mm -hmm. they're adding it zero g push and pull boys it's because they had it working sort of before i played with it i know you did jake it's just 2015 wait how am i confused four years ago because it wasn't a retaliator commercial it was a demo it was a yeah, demo it was, it was a demo right, it, sorry, it, was... it was a live demo it was a demo commercial whatever oh sorry it was the citizen con demo from 2015 yeah uh, sorry i am mistaken it's because they still owe us that re retaliator commercial because we were promised a retaliator commercial around that same time and we still haven't gotten the retaliator commercial hey cig do you remember that retaliator commercial because uh some of us do unfortunately no one cares about the retaliator anymore oh, it's so. a terrible ship but <laughs> I, ow! I love that ship. I really do love that ship. You know was gonna happen. Did I just say every ship is a terrible ship to bug you yet? Hey, um, um do you know what's not a terrible <laughs> ship? Okay, no. The pro. No, Kara, we're going anyway, through the rest of these first, Jake. We have Sorry. to go through the rest of them. Seated item handling, good. Security system, good. Ship to ship docking, fantastic. Vehicle Amazing. Version four, excellent. Salvage. Hells yeah. Uh, ships, no one cares. Weapons. Klaus and Hey! <laughs> Literally three of the most anticipated ships. Yeah, no shit, eh? The whole sea's on there. That's... Yeah. Huge. The whole uh, sea. The Prowler. The Prowler's cool. Jake loves it like it's it was amazing. his child. It's the best ship in the game. It's beautiful. The you Carrick know why? Because it lets sucks. you get It looks like a monster when it's... The Carrick sucks, but it's going to take it a hey. in game for people to realize that. And the shut Hull up, C, it's my ship. The Hull Sea is important as hell, and I can't wait. Yes, it is huge. Yeah. Um, bunch of weapons. I hate when they say, "Oh, this far out, we're going to have three more weapons this patch, whatever." And performance optimization, they're going to have hey. something more in there by that time. So super yeah. serious. When have they not? Ever since they put out the roadmap, when have they not finished a ship and Actually, pushed it into another patch? Very rarely. I think it was like once or twice, but very rare. I don't remember it ever happening. Uh, actually, um, Eric, Eric, I've got a question for you because the three hundred three hundred in the push. game already. Here's here's a question. It for was you, Eric. The rework. The rework was the rework. I don't care about the rework. Anyway, go ahead. Um, New ship. While before New we ships. started the cast, we were talking a little bit about. Crap, what was it that we were talking about? Shit. Apex Legends. No, you guys talked over me and I forgot. World of Warcraft. No. Um, All those Kingdom prostitutes Hearts murdered three. in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and is no, any uh, you were talking about how they developed this roadmap of, uh, based oh, on yeah, 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 yeah. different yeah, than so how they developed the last one. Aaron Roberts was saying last year's roadmap, they basically at the start of the year went, okay, we hope at certain points of the year we'll have a new team to like put together of new hires so they can work on this thing. Um, but a lot of that didn't end up happening, which is why there was so much change in last year's roadmap. This year's roadmap, the way that they've decided to approach it is that these are all the things they think they can get done with the people they have this year. If they get any more people or if things take less time or if, you know, whatever, um, they will add more things in. They expect to add more things in. And also they are holding some stuff back as little surprises along the way. I much prefer this version. And I will say I am fantastically pleased with this roadmap. I think it's great. I think it's a good roadmap. I think 3.8 looks like the point where I will be like, hey, I'm going to start playing Star Citizen now, guys. There'll be lots of space stations by then. I know. There'll be stuff. I really, really um, like also, the roadmap. It's great. Also, um, I do think that we already have seen Microtech now. 
and it's not going to get until the end of the year. Yeah. Um, I I'm with you, Paul. Uh, or I'm with you, Astropub. I'll I'll believe that it's going to be in there when it's in there. At the same time, they do have a year now of being fairly accurate. I'm giving them a lot more credibility for this year's roadmap than most people did for last year's roadmap. Because remember, last year when they were like, here's the roadmap, a lot of people were like, you're never going to make any of this. And they did pretty all right. So we'll see. Yep. Um, okay, that's that's the roadmaps. We got through it and we're only 15 minutes over time. Um, <laughs> uh, quickly while I open the question document uh, Jake what do you think about the roadmap it's good it's got the prowler on it I don't care about anything <laughs> <laughs> Shiver, what do you think it's exciting um, like everyone else fingers crossed but see what slips what stays mm -hmm. as always Eric um, it's good I'm I'm still slightly concerned with how long it's taking to finish Denton. Um, Holy shit. That's not even, like, there's still things missing from Stanton in there. Um, oh, like, um, um, oh, uh, Orison, um, around Crusader, the city around Crusader, uh, is not in there. Um, and among other things, but there's definitely going to be stuff still missing. Uh, fast um, so, yeah. Thank you for asking that as a question. Next time, put that to me in chat so I know. Jake's too loud. What? Jake's louder than everyone wow. else. Duh. <laughs> it was just in a question. I didn't look at the questions till now, so I didn't see it. I'm sorry, everyone. Why would you put that in chat? You're silly. Or why wouldn't you put that in chat? Okay, we've yeah. got a lot of questions, actually. So let's begin. Zeus, would you like to see maps for Arena Commander and Star Marine that are on the surface of a planet in Atlas? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the second half of this question is actually one that I want to talk about with everyone. Or is or or are AC and Star Marine too dead to even bother? Uh, no, I think they'll be. I think they'll be around for a long time. I want to bring yep. this up again right now. It's a good point. It is a good point, but I want to bring this up right now. Do you guys believe that AC and Star Marine should be free to play? Yes. Yeah, I think I think it'd be not great. I not not right not now because they're they're not they're not good right now. I think later on it would be an amazing marketing tool for them to put those two pieces out as free to play. I think so as well, especially if they put some form of very simple battle royale. In Star Marine, yep. I hate totally. to say, I hate to say it, but the that people is fun, love man. right now that would. I don't be care what anybody game. says; it's fun. It'd be really funny if by the time the game comes out, they're like Battle Royale is totally dead. <laughs> it's like, well, that whole genre went came and went to in the meantime. Uh, I, I no, it'll come back again. This is the second time for me with Battle Royales. Jesus, second time. <laughs> yeah. When was the first time? Uh, Half-Life Deathmatch got really popular and then there were various mods of that and then eventually someone started making Battle Royale. It's been a Battle Royales have been a multiplayer match for LAN parties for decades, man. I'm no, fucking the, old. No other 100 players, though. No, no, not on the scale. Don't get me wrong. And obviously this is like oh, so Battle you're just Royale talking, you're just talking with 100 match. players, but fuck me. I don't care. I've done it before. And it's like fucking Doom shiver, now. Every shiver, game's a like, fucking oh, shooter. Guess what? And it's like I, I played play Doom. Shiver, shiver. I played Half-Life Deathmatch 2. You're not that much older than the rest of us. Stop trying. <laughs> play Doom on a floppy. Yeah, me I, too. The first games that I played were on floppies, okay? Actually, I remember, I re quest. I remember playing MUDs, God Big damn. floppies shiver, shiver. or, or little three mils. I grew up on MUDs, okay? Ah, oh, MUDs. I grew up on oh. MUDs, so I have every single claim that you do to being old as shit. I said my the youngest one. No, 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 you're no, 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 <laughs> Okay, fine, you're ancient. Okay, yeah, then cassette tapes are before <laughs> my time. One. But I was uh, I was in I got a Commodore sixty four. I had um uh you know uh an Atari. 
My first you know. personal PC, like that was mine and mine alone, was a Pentium 100. Oh, mine is a 133. You rich bastard. I know, right? I had a 133. <laughs> yeah. I got an Amiga. I remember my, uh, I actually that, think... <laughs> that was overclocked by drawing a line on it with a graphite pencil. Oh, that's impressive. Because that's how you overclocked in those days. Okay. Moving Remember on. when you used to have to take question. the sides off and move a jumper cable for overclocking? Oh, yeah. oh those were the days. Jake's you didn't like, know which jumper I it was. Your PC was the fucked. PlayStation 2. No, oh, my first console or my first video games were on the original Game Boy, the fat one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. An Not Atari 2600. It was made of wood chip. <laughs> no relay. <laughs> made of wood chips. <laughs> I like that fast card. Okay. Um, oh, Zeus asks, does the roadmap even matter since they only deliver 25 to 30% of what they post That's on That's an exaggeration. I think the roadmap matters phenomenally. Um, yep. Because that's what they think they're going to be able to do. So it shows us what they like it manages expectations it's not just what they deliver but it's also here's what we're doing this the roadmap is actually the best idea we have nowadays on what they're doing because they used to give us dev blogs and this and, and chris just talking for 45 minutes a week and we don't have that anymore. So now I'm sorry, but yeah, the roadmap matters phenomenally because it is it is the best window we have we, at what we is see coming. how but we also see where they push features back in real time. Like we, we see it like get updated once a week. Yeah. I like it. So Yeah. As long as you understand I mean sorry it's that they're being transparent, I guess. Transparency is bad now. The the thing people don't like that this is the actual reality of game, game development. development. This is how it works. Yep. I'm just sick of outrage culture, man. So am I. I can't. I'm I can't. So deal with done it. with it. I like well, like people. People just can't be positive about anything anymore. I. I you know what I noticed me. that. The, um, people being like Division Two is shit. It is the worst thing I've ever set eyes on. It's it is literally a dumpster fire that I want to kick into an orphanage because it is like it, it just just ridiculous hyperbole. <laughs> and it seems like people are only able to go on two levels. Either I hate this more than anything I've ever hated before. It is literally worse than Hitler, or this is the greatest thing that's ever been made, and everything else is trash. And that sucks. It's the internet though isn't it oh well i know but Do guys, people aren't gonna be bloody sucks yeah yes, but you don't yes, sit there and go serious, i found that game serious. all right Hang some on. of it was a bit disappointing other bits were good right no one cares division two is division one with a couple of updates but guess what those updates actually make a significant difference to the game and guess what it's also all the stuff that everyone that liked division one asked for they're fixing division one they shouldn't put out a whole new game to fix the previous game, though. Well, no, but, no, they actually have to. Like, they they did a significant like, amount. Like, there's things work fundamentally in... wrong with the. Oh, game. okay, these like, are okay. Like these can't be patched to... in. It no. couldn't be patched. They had to fix it. It was stuff in the engine that they could not fix the armor system. The only way to do it was a new game, and they supported the shit out of Division One. They made Division One a... is still a gorgeous looking game. Gorgeous, some of the effects and oh, oh. phenomenal, but lovely but look. The, the hyperbole that exists is just like, guys, I don't, I'm not gonna get Division Two. I don't think it's bad. It looks good. It looks like a good game. I'm not gonna buy it. It can still be something that looks good. Like, like, why can't we just be like, hey, that looks pretty cool. Hey, I'll buy that when it's on sale. Like, yeah, that's like, actually how I exist most of the time. Because people like that are just sat there watching people overreact. It's not a majority of gamers that are overreacting. And I don't even think 
most of the overreactors are genuinely sincere in their wishes. Okay, I, guys, I think you know they've exaggerated nine hundred tons of Zeus, but... Zeus, you're really just trying for an Eris rant this week, aren't you? It's just. Zeus I mean, that's asking. usually that's usually what people are watching for. And like, there's why, like why eighty does people have watching. To be bad. Is, yeah, let's just be happy. Everything has to be bad. You could <laughs> like, just say it's not my game. Yeah. Yeah, and here's the thing, like. Like at the end of the day, if you don't like what Star Citizen is Zeus. doing, then don't give it money or play it. Zeus asks another one. Um, I, it's a good question. Uh, how many abandoned Star Citizen accounts do you think there are from people that bought it back in 2012 or 2013 and now have completely different lives, families, children, careers, <laughs> and they'll never end up playing this game? How many millions of dollars? I need you all to stay quiet for just one second. Please, please. Mac, can you come here? Here, here's my uh, my rebuttal. Here, we're uh, we're not supposed to say or anything right now, Jake. How many <laughs> games in your Steam library haven't you played? <laughs> what half? Yeah, <laughs> I have like two hundred and some odd games. It's not an uncommon occurrence. No, it's not at all. Also. I mean, the whole point is how many how many Kickstarter games have people backed? Yeah, it, you know, like exactly. Never like, play. Like this Same is deal. no different. This nope. is no different. This has been a problem for decades. <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely yeah. interested to what the genuine answer is to that question, hey guys. So when I backed Star Citizen, uh, I was living essentially uh, <laughs> in my parents' basement. Um, yeah. Hey Mac, say hi. 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 She's mini heiress. I didn't she needs know, a beard. I didn't know. <laughs> she does need a beard. I did not know, know mini heiress. At the time. I did not know mini heiress even existed back when uh, I first backed Star Citizen. Um, she did. She did exist, right? Yeah. Five years like, ago? Zeus, How I have plenty of games I have spent $60 on that I have not touched how that are in my you, st Steam library. What? Like Monster Hunter World, I paid full price for that. Haven't I? I opened the character creator, got distracted, and I haven't played it since. Okay, so so, <laughs> so Mac, how old were you five let's, years ago? Let's just let's just take a look here. You were two. Right? Um, um, take a look. Yeah, uh, life has changed ridiculously since I started. Tales of Berseria so paid full price for that. Played 46 minutes. I love you, man. Um, you run I played one minute of Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that <laughs> fucking game. Um, no, I'm I, with it's, you there. It, it's, a, it's a good question. Um, and yeah, it, it is. is. It, it um, is. I'm going to take a wild shot at it. I'm going to yeah. guess approximately 30 to 40% um, of the people who back Star Citizen between the very beginning and when it releases won't ever play. Yeah. It, that's like, my, you don't think there's a good chunk of those people thing. just waiting for the email that says, Oh, there is. Out. There are. But I think yeah, that there's, there's going to be 30 or 40 percent who never pick it up. There's By the time, I mean, guys, let's, I, that's, let's, that's let's be my guess. Let's be fair here. It's, there's a million backers over five years. There's two to three percent of those backers that are dead. There's like there's like Probably. there's like two there's like twenty percent of the people who, who have bought Skyrim that haven't done the first quest. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. It, it, this this happens. Yeah. And and on it and it's it, even more common it's with it's even more common with crowdfunding. Yeah. It's um a lot of people, especially the early people, really do tend to understand that they're paying for an idea. The number you know? of games that I backed um, when I heard about them was like, oh my god, this sounds amazing. And it came, um, for, uh, path, path, no, um, the like isometric RPG by the guys that did like Icewind Dale and Baldur's Gate and that crap. Uh, um, the Pillars Simpson. of Eternity. Yeah, Pillars of Eternity. I backed that. They also did like Fallout New Vegas. Isn't, I, I know, but I, I Pillars backed of Eternity. Pillars of Eternity. <laughs> I backed Pillars of Eternity. Guess what? Never touched it. Never even opened it. But what you did do was help them create yes. like a pair of games which are both very popular. I I, but that's that's what backing 
an yeah, early like, game is about. It's not about yep. playing it. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy Star Citizen. What I put money into was the idea. Mm-hmm. Listen, us as Relay have have more than gotten our money's worth. <laughs> Star I, to be no, 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 seriously. I've met some of the best people I will ever know. These Not three me. bastards are some of the best friends I have. <laughs> Uh, Astro Pub in chat is one of the best damn people I know, and I never would have met any of these bastards or any of one else in chat. Ghost or Fast Cart, Fast Cart. I wouldn't have met. Fast You'd have Cart. met Fast Cart. I know. I, Everyone's Fast Cart. Meet Fast, Fast Cart would have yeah. shown up at my house. Fast Cart. Fast Cart would have showed up at some point. Um, no, I, I have no regrets. Period. I, this has changed who I am as a person. Uh, and that was a choice that I made. Uh, let's move I on. I agree with Miles KG21. It's, it is the best community. Sometimes it has ups, sometimes it has downs. Yeah. It's but a good it is, uh, In my experience, it's the best gaming community I've been Jade, a part of. Jade Star Watcher wins. The best, the most important ship in Star Citizen is friendship. Friendship. Beautiful. Just <laughs> just beautiful. Well done. Just... Can I share something? Uh yes. One of the first gaming communities I was part of uh a very long time ago was so bad and so toxic that they put out the game and they and it was it was okay. It wasn't amazing. Um had some problems. The community was so toxic and bitter and pissy about it that they just basically up and abandoned the game and never patched it once. Yep. Hello Kitty like, Online. Screw you all. <laughs> nope. It's actually the game you probably played. What's that? It was Star Trek Birth of the Federation. Never played it. I love that game. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I need I to move us on. I need to move us on. We've got 15 minutes and like 17 questions. So, no, we're going to talk about Star Trek Birth of the fucking no. Federation. <laughs> now, <laughs> when is my sequel? Okay, people, Seems... I want a Star Trek 4X when's the game. Last time, when's the last time they made a Star Trek game? Yes. Uh, uh, Bridge Star Crew. Trek Online. Uh, oh, Bridge Star Trek. Crew. Don't... Bridge Crew is really Bridge good. Crew. Bridge Crew is fantastic, actually. Yes, yes it is. Do you remember Starfleet? Uh, I think it was called Starfleet Command. Guys, that was an okay. amazing Bridge Crew. <laughs> so, <Simulator>. asks, <laughs> do you see the second and third Squadron episodes as separate standalone $60 games or as $30 to $45 DLC? Uh, they will be separate standalone $45 games. Probably. Yep. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, it might except, be 60 except, bucks. I don't know. Except for those of us that got the second episode for free because we backed early enough. Zeus also yeah. asks... Uh, how many they, starting but, locations? Just to, just to clarify, they will be the size, at least, yes. of the original game. Minimum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. yeah. No, it, it's, not, it's actually more of a trilogy now. Like, they'll be long games. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Zeus also Episodes asks, how many... is the bad word. Okay, let David go. <sighs> Come on, David. Go. Zeus also asks, how many starting locations would you like to see in the game when it's feature complete gold? A hundred. Five. More than okay, seven. Five, five is a lot more reasonable. <laughs> um, I think, I think five. No, is, two. no, no, no. Can I talk about what what happens is uh, I I know. Go. Okay. But so, you get twenty seconds. So th this is this is like the idea. It's not going to be Stanton, but this is what somebody told me that is in the books. They don't even know if they're going to do it. Um, what if depending on the ethnicity of the person you pick. In your character creator, you end up on a different planet. That would be pretty cool. I like it. Well done, Jake. You made it in 20 seconds. Yeah! Uh, Zeus also asks... Uh, I'm sorry. How are people still justifying a ten month, $10 monthly subscription to Star Citizen? The video content. 20. The video content is down to four minute ATVs and RTV, where all they do is sit in front of the camera and talk during their lunch break, and the flare is ridiculous. Let me inject five months my opinion. An armor set. No, hang on, Jake. Jake, one second. Um, we have we we talked about this last week. I believe I ranted on this yes. last week. There was an Eris rant on this last week. So Jake, it's your huh. turn because you weren't here okay. last. It's a Jake rant time. Hey, like, like asking how people can justify it, obviously, 
opinion. Um, but me personally, I don't have a subscription anymore. But that's is what it is. People people can justify spending any any amount of money on anything for any reason. I, who, I who are the people the buying shit. buying seventy five thousand dollar pickup trucks? <laughs> Everyone, uh, uh, Albertans and I mean, Texans. Here, I mean, here there's like they're everywhere. You, you can get a really nice, Texans just like went around on horses. But... Uh, they'd be better if they did. That's why they will have cowboy um, hats, right? Yeah. So yeah, whoever whoever justified spending fifteen hundred dollars on a on a virtual spaceship, like your your question is obvious. Okay, Zeus Zeus follows on for this one, and I'm gonna let Jake take this again. Give me a second here, Jake. This is a long one. What is your opinion on subscriber flare? How is fifty dollars in subscriptions or thirty five dollars if you sub for one month and buy it all once at a later date acceptable for a red player skin in a game that costs forty five dollars? What would players think of a thirty five dollar red javelin skin in Anthem or a thirty five red player skin in Division Two? The entire internet would riot and explode. But <laughs> no, the they wouldn't buy it. Normal. Go Are Jake. you kidding? Go into Dota 2 and buy go find a cosmetic. They're forty dollars. <laughs> They're forty dollars. Some of the rare ones are even more than that. Like, duh. Come on, dude. Like, obviously you don't play any other video game. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter if it's free to play, it's still forty dollars for a paint job. <laughs> Pretty pretty quickly, it doesn't matter whether it's free to play. Or no, not. it's forty bucks. Go buy another video game. Um, I would say, yeah, okay, so Fortnite I, skins are twenty bucks. I I just want to say, um, I am still subscribed. My reason for being subscribed is simply because I want to support the game, and that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, I actually mostly mostly uh, canceled my subscription because I couldn't afford it. <laughs> but um, like morality aside, I guess. But like like for real, like when you're spending that much on a skin, it doesn't matter how much the game is. You're spending that much on a skin. Obviously, money is no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect gameplay. It's a skin. Who cares? Guys, I got a question. I got a question for you, Jake. How much was Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Uh, six, sixty dollars. Okay, so I was at a Chapters. That's a bookstore for those of you that don't know what a Chapters is. Uh, earlier today, and I saw a guide, like a a, a one of those like book guides for Smash uh -huh. Bros. Ultimate. How much do you think it cost? Uh, forty dollars. Fifty. Oh! It was fifty dollars for the guide. For Smash Bros. And I was like, I could buy another Smash Bros. for that price. And I didn't buy it. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah, no, Guess no what? But, but here's, here's the thing. Guys, here's the thing. The, the really, really, really exciting thing. I uh -oh. didn't buy Who's it. it. I didn't buy it. And it made absolutely no <gasps> difference. It's like, oh my when God. I went and, it's like when I went and played Apex. And I didn't buy anything. And it made no difference. And when I went There's... and played Fortnite. The monetization buy in anything, the monetization no in in Apex is kind of gross, but it's all cosmetic. The only things, the only other things that you can buy with currency is is different heroes. And you, I've literally earned a hero with about six hours of gameplay. Heroes of the Storm did it phenomenally. Yep. Heroes of the Storm is my favorite. Hey, free to play. Period. So, so, and here, here's the thing: is like. People will spend money on anything, no matter what you do. If it's good in some way, someone will spend money on it. Yep. Um. So, like, but you have free will. Just don't buy it. If if the the best the best way to counteract the things that you disagree with is to not vote with your wallet, or is to vote with your wallet. Hey, do you vote no like with your Activision? wallet. Vote no with your do, wallet. Do you hate Activision? Don't buy an Activision. Don't buy their games. Do you? There's hate a reason you here. 
don't buy <laughs> the reason that i is the reason i haven't bought an ea game in like living memory i'm only playing apex legends because it's free <laughs> so so i have remember... never bought a blizzard game oh wow why would you why why would i because he doesn't great. like blizzard games there do you, you go. like do you like rts's shiver yeah but i play command and conquer that is so. a better one you should play um Warcraft. No. So, I tried it the no, first no. time it came around. It's like, okay, guys. I, I want my tanks. Okay, guys. We've got. We have to, get we've got a number of yeah. questions, yeah. and we've got like five More minutes questions. to go through them. Okay, go. Fast card starts with the worst of questions. Fast card, I hate you. Uh, Fast card asks, who did a better job at the Super Bowl, Bill Belichick? Who watches or Tom sports? <laughs> well, did did anyone here watch the Super Bowl? No. Eric, yes, I Eric. watched the Super Bowl. I watched the Super Bowl because I had a fever and I was like oh, immobile fair, on fair, the couch. Fair, <laughs> fair. You're allowed. I don't watch okay. sports. Um, uh, who did the better job at the? Who did a better job at the Super Bowl? Um, everyone who didn't watch it. Yeah, <laughs> me. Wait, that's anyway. That let's like move on to the next question. <laughs> Pretty much, yes, exactly. Um, next question. Next question. What was your favorite Super Bowl commercial? Fast car. I'm not entirely Actually, sure. There were some good Super Bowl commercials. I'm going to go with the Game of Thrones Bud Light commercial because it Game was of great. Sucks. Uh, next question. Fast card. Uh, what Game is- of Thrones is you the best softball pole movie it. on the planet. Exactly. Uh, I have watched it, Jake. I've also read three out of, I guess, five now. Or four five. out of five. Four out of five novels. There's uh, five. They're shit. <laughs> they're not. They're they're <laughs> they're, they're shit. They're damn. Anyway, they're damn shit. There's you're allowed so to. You're better fiction. You're allowed to think whatever you want. Anyway, I'm also right. Um, it's more specific. Fast that asks, you think they are. No, it's it's that they are. Uh, Fast. No. What is asks, your favorite Star Citizenship yeah. commercial? Uh, my favorite Star Citizenship the commercial arrow. is. Um, just be, you know what? I'm gonna go nostalgic, just because of how cool it was at the time. The old 300 series commercial, Cutlass. Uh, the, the Arrow for me because it's, it's oh, got that it's got that Tokyo drip so shot that they ripped right out of Last Jedi. But I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. And <laughs> it, it, it was, it was the cut, the Cutlass with the uh, the female pilot killing the Vandal, yeah, the right? Yeah, Dom, yeah, that was good. Yeah, Cutlass. Good. Uh, that, that one to me set a little bit of the tone of like, okay, we're not just going, we're going for some cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Some style. Flint! Uh, Flint Flint wants a wave. Kiwi. He's, He's going to fall out of his chair. I, I called it! You <laughs> saved the headphones, though. Excellent. Um, David, I have a question. What is that thing in, in the corner? Uh, those What's are uh, hockey pads. Yeah, goalie pads. Goalie, goalie uh, pads. It, it looks like Ahsoka. <laughs> like, the, like from that from the other angle, they look like a. David is a goalie. Uh, Tofu Sad asks, tunnel. "How? What do we know about Star Citizen's <laughs> future asteroid tech? How will it work? What can it do? How will it look?" Yes. Uh, it will look good. <laughs> Um, I will go and actually take a bit of a dive on that. Where is it? Uh... Are they still going to be using voxels? And but didn't they I even mention the roadmap procedure generated? So, <laughs> Q-Pan, screw you. Um, Astropub asks a question. Okay. So, oh. what it says about procedural asteroids is continued development of the underlying tech that determines the shape, distribution, and appearance of asteroid fields, adding volumetric fog elements, mineable entities, and creating ring patterns. Space dust. Goodness. They're adding oh goodness. My. All right. How, they're just so. going to look much better, more randomized. Self function. Okay. Better. I have to say, model thir- model. 315p um absolutely uh contact binaries or fail uh it, especially because <laughs> we're sort of seeing now that lots of these bloody things are contact binaries yes like 
three of three that we've looked at are contact binaries. Yep. There's lots of them out there. Like, At least like, we think, we, we like a hundred percent of the random asteroids that we've looked at. Random, like, hey, let's look, look at that one. Oh, it's a contact. Let, look, look at that one. Contact by. Let's, let's look at that one. Contact by. Oh, so like, are all of them contact binaries? No, but, but there are lots of them. Also, I mean, similar, like the near Earth asteroids, the two that we visited, Bennu and um, and uh, Ryugu, are they look exactly the same. Uh, Bryce Arena, like, a contact binary is when you've got two of them rotating around each other for eons and eons and eons until they sort of stick together. And then they go around life like this, stuck together. And there's two distinct forms. They're just touching. They're it just looks touching. just like Ahsoka. <laughs> I think Who the hell is Ahsoka? Uh, Ahsoka Tano is the former uh, <laughs> Padawan learner of Anakin Skywalker during Clone Wars. Um, okay. Yeah. She's so Tagruta, that's, that's like Shark T. So pu- the Astro Pub asks, and we're going to go around. And we have one minute. Num- we're going to go around and give numbers. Okay. 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 Starting with Shiver. How much of the roadmap of 2019 do you think will make it into the game? At least three fifths. Into the game, period. One hundred percent. Damn it! You stole my answer, Eric. Um, I think. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be more specific here. Based on what's on there right now, the things that I think will get in on time, um, probably fifty percent. But they'll add new stuff. <sighs> so yeah, there, there's Ahsoka. There. Uh, I'm gonna right there. give getting in on time as scheduled 75 percent okay getting into the stuff. game period exactly like 100%. jake 100 percent. 100 percent. the last Shut up, Paul. the last question for the day comes from guns and glue with the asperia portfolio this <clears throat> With, with, with the Asperia portfolio <laughs> recently being released, do you think that we'll get a retro starship or any other alien copy? The Zeus! For, for humans to you. I want the Zeus. Yeah. The Zeus. Zeus! I really want the Zeus, Zeus a lot. Yeah. Zeus. Zeus, I want to reenact Buck Zeus. Rogers. Zeus. Give me a Zeus. Uh, Zeus. Everyone wants the Zeus. I think yep. I think what we all have to and do And I want the ship as well. I, I think what we what we have to do is do nothing but tweet Zeus at CIG. The Zeus uh, is loose. Just just Zeus. Ha, no, hashtag a Q-pan. Hashtag, the Zeus is loose. Hashtag the Zeus is loose. Yes, I like that, yeah. Q-Pan. Uh, all right. right now, everybody right now, go right now, I'm doing it right now. Tweet it, tweet I'm doing it right now. Yep. Tweet it at, at Roberts at R at... Oh god. Just Robert. At Robert Space Industry, hashtag, hashtag the. But but to answer the Zeus question, yes, is loose. Yeah, loose. I do think we will uh, get another alien concept. Wait, are one of you guys shit. doing that loose. as relay? Loose. Jake, are you doing uh, that as relay? I, I will be. Yes. Okay, do it as relay. Thank you. Uh, I'm just. Gonna and they're gonna look at it and go, "Who the fuck is relay?" <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Actually, yeah. Anyway, no, we'll just. Let's keep on, keep on. We uh, we are over time now. Uh, how yeah. many questions do we have? Sorry, I, I, I none. That was the last one. I just need to, oh, sweet. to tweet. I just need to Woo! tweet. The, the Zeus is loose. The Zeus is loose. That's all I'm tweeting, right? Tweet. Yes. Hashtag Dots, the just, Zeus is loose. I just put it. Dot I just put at, it. Dot at <laughs> Space Industries. I mean, you don't have to put the dot. Hashtag no, I just, I just, I just want bear. I just want I went them. bear, man. I want them to see it. The Zeus is loose. The okay. Zeus is loose. You know, Zeus and Oxy is going to come it, back to it, Twitter guys. soon. And the he's going to go, loose. what the fuck is everyone calling me this for? <laughs> everyone do it. The Zeus is loose. Uh, like, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, sorry. Like and retweet everybody's <laughs> tweets. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. yeah. It's taking oh, some time. Awesome. All right, we're going to click on... Oh, uh, there we go. There's David. The <laughs> Zeus is loose. Zeus hey, is loose. Dead Air, where's your tweet? Dead Air, come on.
Uh, somebody tweeted November 28th, 2014, playing hashtag CSGO with the crew, hashtag the Zeus is loose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Philip, Philip Caulfield, who I believe is a baseball player? Let's see. Hey, Nighthawk. Uh, nice one, Nighthawk. Thank you, Nighthawk. Yeah, and there we go. Um... <laughs> Give me the Zeus is loose. Hold on. There's there's a coupon. There's a there's a cocktail called Zeus. <laughs> oh no, it's a beer. A beer called the Zeus is uh, loose. It's a, it's a it's a double red IPA brew. Zeus hops Simcoe. And it's coming in at eight point eight ABV. Just Packs everyone everyone just confused the hell out of CIG. The Zeus yes. is loose. The Zeus is loose. Do it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, Q- Qpan, there we go. I'm totally gonna get a message feet. from, I'm totally getting a message from Jared at some point and be like, what, yeah, what, you, what have you guys this? done? There we go. The I hate you loose. all. Everybody tweet. Everybody the Zeus is tweet. loose. There it is. Good Everybody one, Dinner. Everybody tweet. There we go. All right. I think we should probably... Wait, um... No, no, I, I just want to quickly... Is this what we call an anti-movement? Because we've got everyone, all 12 people who are watching this, really hyped up <laughs> to, <laughs> for, the, for the Zeus and are just spamming RSI with, you know, fucking Zeus, fucking Zeus, but it's not going to go anywhere. There are 70 people watching us right now. There, there were hey 80 guys, before. The Zeus Keep is tweeting! Uh... Take this, take this, carry this over into the Astro Pub, which happens about two yes. hours from now. Carry it the over. Zeus. The Zeus is loose, everyone. The Zeus, the is, Zeus loose. is loose, okay? Carry it over. Let's not forget this. We'll start next week with a roundup of the Zeus is loose. The, the Zeus, Zeus is loose. The Zeus loose gooses. Q Pan, uh, thank you for this gift. Uh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody tweet. Everybody tweet. Uh, guns and Paul's just sitting, at, hashtag Paul's just sitting at his Zeus desk like, oh dear. Yep. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. There's Bree Serena. We'll retweet him. <laughs> it's happening. There we go. First life. Retweet him. Perfect. We need some more. Give me, give me the Zeus is loose. The Zeus is loose, and This, and this is one of the many reasons why I love the Star Citizen community, because you're all <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> Guys, it has, oh, been, it has been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to oh, keep an eye on this hashtag, everybody. So keep those tweets coming. Keep Zeus it coming. Is loose. The Zeus is loose. Uh, <laughs> I'm having... Have a damn fine weekend, everyone, and we'll see you. Yeah, next goodbye, week. everybody. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Keep it loose. Keep it loose. Keep it loose. <laughs> Keep it Zeus. <laughs> Keep it Zeus. <laughs> <laughs>